Hello folks, uh, we've got quite a few emails and pings and comments saying have a, want a well-defined strategy for LRDI for the last 150 uh, days, I was about to say 150 months, 150 days. And so, uh, we've tried to come up with something, I've thought, they have thought in terms of, look, if I were an aspirant, what would be my plan? If, what would be the approach to have a go at LRDI over 150 days? What will be the, what are the core ideas, core principles? What are the skill sets to build? And what is the game plan? And we'll break it into that. Right? First of all, we need to understand that there's no defined syllabus for this framework wise. And so no defined syllabus. So it's not like you do Venn diagram and tournament and sequence and series and circular arrangement. You've done LRDI. Right? Take the last five years CAT papers. Practically 90% of the questions are not categorizable as anything. They don't fall into a classification. And right? so don't chase syllabus completion. Syllabus completion as an idea is a myth when it comes to LRDA. Right? So how do we get a sense of what is this thing about? Entirely PYQ, previous year question sets. Right? So there are questions that are a mix of data interpretation and logical reasoning. Little bit of number cracking and little bit of sequence arrangement. Little bit of uh, out of the box thinking, little bit of ratios. Something like that. Some set theory and some figuring out. Right? So a lot of computation type thing and out of the box thinking type and then building into that. Somehow we get the feeling that that is what they want from, from students. Little bit of comfort with numbers and, and hardcore ideas, little bit of comfort with non-linear thinking, put them both together, see if you can come up with something, see if we can solve this set. Right? So that is the idea here. Right? But so individual preparation level, these two ideas are important. At a mock and exam level, this is paramount. Right? So selecting the right set, more than that, way more than that, bouncing back if you don't select the right set. And the, the holy grail in LRDI is to select the right set. Everybody, everybody who is going to give Gyan on LRDI is going to say, select the best sets you can crack it. Right? I don't like that. I've said it many times. And so, as a Gyan, right? Some, uh, I don't like that because it is incredibly tough to select the right sets. In hindsight, I can look at the five sets and say, these two are easy, those two are difficult, third one is in between. That's very easy. But in that exam context, uh, you get one set will look beguilingly good. You will get stuck, stuck in that. And then you'll have to say, look, nine, and then go back to something else. So bouncing back from a, a selection that has not gone really well. That is important. Right? So time management, set selection, temperament management. This is um, conceptually, these are the things to, to keep in mind. Right? Syllabus wise, uh, preparation set wise, I would put a lot of stress on this. PYQ sets and so lots of times the PYQ sets are, are, are super uh, brilliant and they are very it's a, it's a beautiful collection of questions, wonderful uh, ideas coming together. You get a clear idea of what they are testing right? and on top of all of this it is clearly the most representative. And all of these ideas are important when you are preparing for them. Right? We'll come to this. Before that, I'm going to aggregate previous year questions and then say why I think it's, uh, it should be the first, second, and third port of call. Right? So if you look at 2024, right? and then 23, and then 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. The three slots each in these years. Here there were five, five, five sets, not questions, five sets of some number of questions, four, four, four. These were all eight plus eight, okay. eight, 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 if I have to be very clear. Okay. So to, to get a count, sense of how much count, how many LRDA sets are there, this is 16 into 3, 48 here, 12 into 4, 48 here, plus 15 here, 96 plus 15. 111 sets are there. So LRDI preparation, you'll do a bunch of mocks and LRDI sets available from those mocks. If you do these 111, you're done. You practically won't have time to do much more than this. Solving a set typically take 20 minutes to half an hour. Looking at the solution, take that. So it's a lot. And have a plan where even if you're saying, look, these I will take as mocks. Do all of these before going to other content. Very, very important to have a sense of how much is there in previous year questions, how important they are, how crucial they are, 
and how they'll form the mainstay of your preparation plan. I have too many students, way too many students who do a lot of LRDA preparation and then realize that they simply haven't done this. They didn't have time. And so don't do that. It's widely available benchmark content that is by definition representative sitting inside here. Keep that in mind. Right? The second thing to keep in mind within this framework is, to, is the level of difficulty. And so 2017, 18, 19 had a level of difficulty. 2020, 21, 22, 23, slightly higher. Incrementally higher or mixed bag. And so kind of incrementally slightly higher but broadly only mixed back in the same range right so if you have to sit down and say is one greater than other we'll feel may, may find the gentle upgrade curve but all four form in the same punch 24 was here simpler than what went by the three four years before that but tougher than 2017 18 19 right so so if you want practice sets the easiest benchmark to have is this because the one that went by last but do a few here and do a few here do everything here and here ideally but the, the, the understand that the level of difficulty changes and goes like this so if yes, what would be my strategy for lrdi i would say look i'm going to do 2017 18 19 as previous year sets i'm going to start with them early on because they're slightly easy i'll get the hang of things and then i'll build from there i'll take 2024 one slot as previous year questions finish 20 21 22 as previous year questions keep 2023 and 24 five different papers to take as mocks do all this and then do the remaining sets from the mocks that i have not completed that will be enough beyond that i can still chase lrdi if i need to in some specific if i get some good sources but this will be my plan right so just to reiterate this point on level of difficulty you see the last three years the percentile required the mark required for percentiles for 99.9 99.5 99.95 kind of the same for 22 and 23 broadly the same not much different but 24 is much higher so last year the lrda was simpler than the four years that went before that not remarkably simpler kind of gently simpler slightly simpler and so, so keep that in mind so this would be how i would bunch the level of difficulty and i would hoover all of this up for practice 17 18 19 as the kind of gradation towards tougher set 20 21 22 as really tough challenging sets one test of 24 as practice sets to get very representatively what was 2024 and do the remaining five papers in 23 and 24 as real-time mocks to have the experience of taking a cat exam that would be my plan for LRDI. But if you notice throughout I'm talking about anchoring wildly around previous year papers. Super important. That is the mothership for LRDI. The sets are representative. Um, they're kind of instructive and you get an intuitive sense of what is the type of set you will get in the exam and, and what is the level of difficulty. Keep that in mind. Okay. Core skills you need to build for, for having this. Um, the, uh, again, as I said, I'm not going to talk in terms of syllabus, but uh, basic comfort with numbers, ratios, percentages, sometimes numerical ideas, HCF, LCM, all of those are important. Lots, at least on average 30 to 40, 35, 40 percent have a math link to them. So certain comfort level with basic math is super important. Uh, wonderful comfort level is set theory is important. And standard templates you should have done a few questions with tournament and selections and all that but this is not what i would camp on inevitably the core skill sets you need to build at an lrti set solving level get built the thing that you need to build in terms of skill set at a paper level is question selection even within set selection i would want to focus on not set selection only but hey set selection can go wrong if it goes wrong how do i manage my mind how do i manage my temperament how do i grit through something how do i stay the course how do i hang in there when the set selection is not swimmingly good <coughs> so i would i would account for set selection and bouncing back from bad selection as a core skill set wonderful i think this sunday july 13th at 10 a.m and 5 p.m. 
we have a, a, a an exam, a scholarship exam for students who are thinking about joining our courses. Uh, please do turn up. Please sign up for that. All of you who are saying, look, I may take CAT. I'm interested in this. You should say, look, I'm jumping in, jumping in at this opportunity to take an exam. A scholarship exam is a mini CAT, one hour exam. No amount of listening to videos or Googling can give you an insight about what this is as much as a one hour mini CAT can. So please come in, sign in and have a crack at this exam. Best wishes.